Good morning. So I don't know why I decided to do this video on a day that I didn't get enough sleep. I only got around five hours. But yeah, this is going to be a day in the life video and I'm going to be answering a couple of your questions and just taking you um, through a day. Um, I'm currently nine weeks out from my competition and yeah lots of exciting things happening i'll take you through my routine and everything i do um, the daily habits the daily essentials so i just had my cup of coffee and i'm watching some youtube everybody knows when you're on prep you watch all the competition videos and yeah that's my inspiration how i start my morning I think I'll read some of this book. I listened to the audio and then bought it off take a lot because I loved it and I want to consume it again. And yeah, I'm currently reading this and this. So this is not the greatest angle, but I wanted to show you my fit of the day. I'm wearing my Kua Kua active wear set. So the leggings and the bra um, these are definitely my favorite leggings and I don't think I've ever had leggings that are this um, compact it sucks you in uh, it's super flattering and then uh, high impact sports bra um, I just complete the look with my at industries pump cover <laughs> because it's cold outside okay so for breakfast I'll be having my Hydrotech Whey when my favorite flavor vanilla cookie dough I'd never get tired of it and I also have a massive tub uh, the Hydrotech range is because of the raising whey prices so they made a cheaper alternative which is so great um, also some US end cream of rice in the original flavor um, my creatine I usually put in with it as well and then afterwards I add my peanut butter and some berries this is my morning supplement stack so lots of so these are obviously for health and then you should take this on an empty stomach which just helps with your digestion uh, fat burner uh, please don't take this if you're not in a calorie deficit just um, for safety <laughs> you never know um, also the daily essentials after my breakfast I take the vitamin D3 and some omega 3s and yeah that is it health is wealth please remember to take your vitamins okay so before the gym i take this pre-workout and then i also put some of this into my water uh, i got this with my order and it's actually cool to come to see the combination so the pre is obviously for energy and then the intra is going to be for muscle growth and recovery and it also makes your water taste nice so increased water consumption also thought i should just mention my jewelry i've been using them for years it's sweet willow jewelry and then my socks are socks footwear Okay, so I'm on my way to the gym now and I'll be doing a half of my cardio before my workout and then half of it after my workout and I have a nice push day today with some glutes in the mix. So I just stopped at the gym but I thought um, I would share this. Um, I had a blog um, in my gap year when I went to Australia because... Um, I like documenting what I do mostly for myself but I like sharing it as well and um, that's why I'm starting 
with documenting like a day in my life because I want to remember I want to be able to watch my videos and what I um, went through and um, yeah just the whole journey um, I, I want to be able to experience it years from now um, and I might as well share it with you and I think with lots of people uh, we hold ourselves back so um, a thought a quote I always think about is um, your fear of looking stupid is holding you back in life and that is so true because you by caring what other people will think about what you do or your know, people actually don't even care about what you do uh, everybody's on their own mission in life yeah that's a thought that I think can benefit a lot of people your fear of looking stupid is holding you back in life so if you want to do something and you're you've been scared because you think you'll be judged or anything just do it we have a limited amount of time on this earth and if you don't do things for yourself you're sort of wasting your time and uh, time is precious First round of cardio complete. Looking rough. I stopped by the grocery store after the gym and I just got some sugar-free drinks no it's not all for me I'm sharing with my family and then some pickles that's on my meal plan uh, the essentials um, you know if you're on prep you can't go without your gum uh, I put this on everything so literally I run I go through like a, a pot of cayenne pepper a week and then some things for my parents which I'm not going to have unfortunately but yeah that's it so my second meal of the day is going to be some chicken I'm going to add some lettuce for volume and cucumber and then obviously I like stuff that burns so I'm going to put my cayenne pepper on it so this is meal one and after this I'll have some rice cakes, strawberries and fat-free cottage cheese as my sweet treat. So it's been a while since I ate and uh, I wanted to answer your questions. I uh, put a question box on Instagram on one of my stories just to get to know me for anyone who doesn't or who isn't following me on Instagram so um, the first question is what made you want to start competing and um, okay so when I was in um, grade 12 I started this accountability challenge thing um, for myself um, because there were there's this thing that people say that you build a habit in 90 days so I did an accountability um, challenge, so which just meant that for 90 days um, I was consistently going to the gym um, and obviously with some rest days in between, but it was active, like active rest and um, I focused on building that habit. And I got a lot of DMs um, after a while where people asked me would I consider competing um, 
and I never really thought about it but as soon as I started getting those comments I think the seed was planted and yeah I thought about it more and more and I started watching videos um, about com um, bikini competitors online and it I just fell into it. I looked up the IFBB um, yearly events calendar and I saw that um, our provincial show was in a couple of months. Uh, obviously I didn't have a coach or anything and all the training I did up to that point was all by myself but I think I grew a decent amount of muscle. When I was about 12 weeks out from provincials um, I thought that um, it's time to get a coach so um, I didn't know who to contact or anything but I um, came across Stephanie's um, Instagram page and as soon as I saw her I quickly slid into her DMs and she was so willing to help me and without realizing um, that was a very uh, important moment for me a breakthrough moment and she knows how much she's done for me up until this point like that's impossible to imagine on my first try the first coach I really saw um, yeah it's such a magical connection that I made and I'm very lucky and that's not um, a lot of uh, athletes don't have this experience um, they go through a bunch of coaches before they find someone they can work with for years but obviously uh, I think I found that person and yeah that's how it started and I did my first show provincials and I won the overall and that is just how you get someone addicted to something is when they work hard for something and they achieve it and they know they still um, have room to grow and obviously provincials is like the first step so when I got that moment of success, I knew I wanted to do it for years to come. Someone asked me what methods I use to manage my time. And uh, this is actually something I can go into depth with a lot. Um, I'm currently on vacation, so I'm not that strict with anything. But um, as soon as I'm back at university, I think I'll do a video because I have a lot of systems, a lot of steps, um, my planning, everything. I'm very type A personality, so um, I plan everything. My, I have priorities and I set my times for everything. And I make sure if I want to achieve something, I do it. Because if you put it into your day, you'll do it. If you... If I write something down, um, I just follow the plan and I achieve it. Um, but mostly I use um, Google Calendar um, for that and it's super nice. So I do time blocking and then I also write everything in my planner and I have a to-do list app on my phone where um, um, as soon as I think of something I need to do throughout the day, I just write it down and go through it later when I have some spare time um, to put it into my Google Calendar. Another very good one is um, someone asked about the in-between meal moments where you have to distract yourself because you're hungry on prep. Um, so usually, um, especially now because it's vacation, I give myself freedom um, to watch series and just enjoy myself, read some books um, and just chill, um, especially um, after my training session in the day. Um, something that is also a very good tip is um, when you're hungry and you don't know what to do and how to distract yourself is to practice your posing if you're doing the sport because you can never have enough posing practice. Um, but uh, if I know I'm especially hungry that day, I just um, put some gum in my mouth right after my meal um, because food wouldn't taste good when you have that uh, minty flavor or brush your teeth or um, my favorite way is drink lots of water. Um, 
I think I can easily drink five liters of water a day. That's my coping mechanism in prep and with hunger. But yeah, just um, it's the tip is to keep yourself busy. Um, when I'm at uni, it's um, it's easier to do because you just you sit in front of your laptop and you work. But um, on vacation, it's a bit more difficult. Today is Saturday, so it's very chill and there's no plans. So yeah, I'm going to do exactly that and take my time and rest and chill and just enjoy myself. My uh, third meal of the day is basically um, chicken and cucumber again, but I'm having some pumpkin as well. And um, yeah, I choose between cucumber and gherkins. As part of my sister duties for the day, I'm dropping her off at the mall. And I found like an energy dip, and that's what I get for waking up at 5 a.m. Okay, so I'm just ending off the night with a nice tuna salad. I have a choice of lots of veggies that I get from my coach and then I'll just spice it up with some seasoning salt and lots of hot stuff because that's what I prefer. Also a tip is to have like a bottle of water or just a glass of water before your meal it helps you stay satiated for a little longer or full, feel fuller um, when you're done with your meal so this is my last meal um, it's basically egg white and whey protein pancakes and i just put some sweetener and cinnamon on it um, after this i will have a teaspoon of peanut butter and some strawberries as well but this was my last meal thanks for following along and watching my day in the life video